Step one, visit downloadcenter.intel.com and put in the model name into the search box. I'm actually using the NUC 8 i 7 bh so I'm going to copy and paste that and put that into the search box and then click the one that should appear for the correct NUC. Now on the box at the top, select OS independent and then select the BIOS update link. Now we only need to download the .bio file for this because we're going to put it on a pen drive and then insert it into the NUC for a BIOS update. So click the download link for the .bio file. Click the accept terms and conditions and then the download should complete pretty quickly depending on your internet connection. Step two, insert a USB drive into your computer. Make sure there's no important files on it. Right click the drive and select format. We need to ensure that the FAT32 file system is selected for this drive. If it's not, please select it and format the drive. Otherwise the NUC can't read it. Now we're fine at this point, so what we're going to do, we're going to locate the file we've just downloaded, copy and paste it into the drive so the NUC can read it and then update the BIOS. Once that's done, eject the drive and plug this into your NUC. Okay, once the USB drive is plugged into your NUC, boot up the NUC and as soon as you see the NUC logo on the screen, press the F7 key on your keyboard a couple of times to access the BIOS update menu. Once this appears, all you have to do is then select the USB drive from the list and press enter and then find the .bio file that you should be able to see inside the drive somewhere. Next, click on this file with the enter key and then press enter again to say yes, I want to update using this file. After this point, the NUC will restart and then it will go through the update procedure. This takes about one to two minutes and then the NUC should shut down on its own, but it will appear to not be doing anything for a little while. There'll be no output to the screen, but the BIOS is updating in the background. This takes about one minute and the NUC should restart all by itself. And then once it has restarted and you see the NUC logo again, then the BIOS should be updated. And that's about it. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks very much.